हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रभा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन ओरिएंटल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल सो टुडे इज माई टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ नॉइज दैट टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट एनोलॉग कम्युनिकेशन डेफिनेशन ऑफ नॉइस वॉट इज नॉइस नॉइस आर अनवॉन्टेड इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल दैट मिक्सेज विद द ओरिजिनल सिग्नल एंड करप्टेड With reference to an electrical system, noise may be defined as any unwanted form of energy, which tends to interfere with the proper reception and reproduction of unwanted signals. Noise is random in nature; it is undesirable electrical energy that enters the communication system and distorts it. Classification of noise: there are two important type of noise, that is external noise and the internal noise. External noise: at the words clear that external. noise whose sources are external and second is internal noise internal noise that are generated within the receiver or communication system let us start with external noise external noise may be classified into further three categories that is atmospheric noise extraterrestrial noise and man made noises also known as industrial noises internal noise internal noise may be put into following four categories there is thermal noise also known as johnson noise short noise transit time noise and various type of noises also there internal noises that are generated in a system can be removed but external noise cannot be easily removed by changing the location of receiver or the entire system you can change the internal noise by proper use of the system next is explanation of the external noises the first external noise is atmospheric noise atmospheric noise or static noise is caused by the lightning discharge in thunderstorm or any other natural disturbances atmospheric noise changes according to the atmospheric the field strength of atmospheric noise varies approximately inversely with the frequency thus large atmospheric noise is generated in low and medium frequency bands while very little noise is generated in the uhf and vhf bands atmospheric for atmospheric noise depends on the frequency extraterrestrial noise extraterrestrial noise causes due to the stars there are two types of noise solar noise and the cosmic noise solar noise this is the electrical noise emanating from the sun and cosmic noise this noise generated due to the other stars next is man made noise or industrial noise this noise is generated due to the due to the improper use of the instruments the man made noise is mean the electrical noise produced by such sources as automobiles and aircraft ignition electrical motor switch gears leakage from high voltage lines and the man made noise in such areas are exceeded all other sources of noise in the frequency range extending from about 1 megahertz to 600 megahertz now we start the explanation of internal noise internal noises that generated within a communication system the first internal noise is thermal noise thermal noise generated within a conductor due to a large number of free electron and holes ion that are strongly bounded by molecular forces this is the source of resistance in a conductor thus noise generated in any resistance due to random motion of electrons is called thermal noise thermal noise is also known as johnson noise sometime in communication it is known as white noise thermal noise is generated due to the resistance thermal noise is based on the kinetic energy like pn what is pn Pe maximum power noise output at the register k boltzmann constant which value is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per kelvin t is that absolute temperature and b is the bandwidth over which the noise is measured so pn maximum power is directly proportional to the tb so pn equals to k of tb where k is the boltzmann constant the temperature is always considered in fahrenheit from equation 1 we can draw an equivalent circuit in this equivalent circuit the equivalent noise power is equal to e square by r1 which is equals to e square by r2 the resultant en that is rms voltage equals to root of 4 kt rb from equation 2 we see that the square of the rms noise voltage is proportional to the absolute temperature of the resistor 
the value of the register and the bandwidth over which it is measured en is quite independent of the frequency here is an example an rf amplifier is saving an input register of 8 kilo ohm and works in the frequency range of 12 to 15.5 megahertz calculate the rms noise voltage at the input to the amplifier at an ambient temperature of 17 degrees celsius let's start with the solution so the rms noise voltage en equals to root of 4 k t r b where k is boltzmann constant which value is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 what is t t is the temperature temperature is given 17 degrees celsius so we are converted into 17 plus 273 for the kelvin and what is r r is the resistance which value is 8 kilo ohm so 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 what is bandwidth bandwidth ranges is 15.5 to 12 that results with the 3.5 so the final answer is 21.17 microvolt next is short noise the most common type of noise is referred to as the short noise which is produced by the random arrival of electrons or hole at the output element an example of such a discontinuity is the contact between the copper lead and the semiconductor material the interface between the two creates a discontinuity that causes random movement of the current carriers and generated short noise that means short noise is generated due to the electrons and holes next is transit time noise another kind of noise that occurs in the transistor is called transit time noise transit time is the duration of time that it takes for a current carrier such a hole or current to move from one input terminal to output terminal there are various type of others internal noises flicker noise transistor thermal noise and partition noise the flicker noise is appears in transistors a transistor thermal noise is also appears in transistor at the emitter, emitter base and collector region partition noise occurs whenever current has to be divided between two or more paths the most important topic is white noise white noise also known as thermal noise and johnson noise in communication system we always consider that the noise is white noise as we all know what is white color white color that is white light contains all color frequency in the equal amount in the same way white noise also contains all the frequency in the equal amount the power density spectrum of white noise is independent of frequency independent of frequency that means the white noise is distributed in all the spectrum in equal amount one of the very important random process is the white noise process Noises in many practical situation are approximated by the white noise process. This is the diagram of autocorrelation function and the power spectral density of a white noise process. This is power spectral density. Power spectral density is n naught by 2. That means half of the power is associated with the positive half and half of the power is associated with the negative half. And it is distributed in all the spectrum equally. This is the autocorrelation function. The autocorrelation function n naught by 2 del t that means the Fourier transform of constant function is impulse function that means the autocorrelation function is n naught by 2 del t as a communication engineer we all know about the awgn so what is awgn additive wide gaussian noise additive wide gaussian noise is a basic noise model used in the information theory so what do you mean by a a means adaptive additive additive because it is added to any noise that might be intrinsic to the information system white white refers to the white noise and gaussian there are different type of distribution that is normal distribution poison distribution so the gaussian distribution is is a normal distribution in the time domain with an average time domain value of zero in the communication system we studied about awgn in this video, we have discussed about the various type of noises, internal noise, external noise, and most important is white noise. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and doubts, you can contact me at 7415 You can also mail me at prabhasharma740 at gmail.com.